Today we're going to be making birch disc Christmas ornaments using pyrography. I am providing the birch discs for you for this assignment. I cut them following proper saw safety procedures and wearing protective eyewear. Please do not use any saw you have access to without following procedures, wearing protective eyewear, and of course, most importantly, your parents' permission and supervision. I've also pre-drilled the holes in the birch discs for you. Notice I use a block of wood underneath the disc so that I don't drill through into the school desk and that I drill through at a slight angle. Um, and these holes are so that you'll be able to pass the twine or ribbon through so that you can hang the ornaments when you're done. When using the pyrography wood burning tool, never ever touch the metal tip. There is a plastic flange towards the end and a little rubber grip. That's where you keep your hands. Your hand never goes beyond that little plastic flange. And when you're putting it down, always set it on the holder. Never leave it flat on the desk, especially on the wooden desk because the desks are made of wood and therefore subject to burning. Also, never leave the wood burning tool unattended and always make sure you unplug it when you're finished. Do not ever try to change the tips when it's hot. Use pliers and gloves when trying to change tips if it's not completely cool. Or obviously if you're in class, seek my supervision. We're going to be using twine for this one to hang the ornament. And you can see here, I've got some black carbon paper and I've cut out some small snowflakes that I've printed off. The snowflakes have been sized so that they fit on the birch discs. I will place the black side down on the birch disc and then trace my snowflake over top and it will transfer some of that black carbon to the birch disc. Then using the wood burning tool, I will slowly and carefully draw my image following the black tracing left by the carbon paper. Always making sure, again, never to let my finger go past the, on the pen, past the flange, and always being cognizant of where the wire cable is, keeping it out of my way to avoid mishaps, and when always putting the pen back in the holder when not in use. Using twine or ribbon 
Bring two ends together on a piece of twine or ribbon that's about a foot long. Bring the two ends together and make a knot where you tie those two ends together side by side, looping those two, keeping them together and making a knot so that the knot is in the end and you have a big loop. Thank you.